All right, here we are with another cool product that I found out about. Um, so this year on my, my 2022 Bass Cat Puma STS, I'm basically running all the same electronics that I ran last year. So I'm going to have the, the Lowrance and Humminbird at the console, which you can see right there. And then up here on the front, <clears throat> I'm going to have all the same electronics. Uh, you know, up here I've got more room than I did on the Eros. Either way, I'm going to have the same electronics up here. Uh, I've got a different trolling motor. Last year I ran the Ultrax. I really like the Ultrax. It's good. But I wanted to go go to the go back to the Ghost. I had the Ghost before. <clears throat> I wanted to do that because brushless motor, a little more efficient in the water. <clears throat> I like how the head, the whole head does not turn on this and it's <clears throat> basically a um doesn't have cables in the um uh, it's all motorized and uh it, it takes very little getting used to to get to get that thing uh to where you're comfortable with it and you know exactly where it is so the difference with the ultrax and the ghost as far as the mega 360 goes is the mount now this is the four tracks mount this is what you need if you have the ghost or the full uh four tracks uh but as you can see, I just moved it. When Even when this thing is clamped down, I don't know of a way I can tighten it anymore. And it, it kind of slides around. So I just, I had just had my cover on and with the cover on it, the cover, the pressure of the cover pushed this all the way down. So as you can tell, that's gonna be way off. That's not where I want it. I want that 360 up in this area. I want it right, right in there. Um, so <clears throat> what they, what I found out about was uh, Bass Fishing Electronics has this mount that kind of operates like the Ultrex mount, uh, but you get these three rings. And this one goes down on the on the lower portion of the shaft that spins. You know, down. Yeah, you know, this one is going to go down here on this part of the the shaft because there's this little coupler that spins. This is going to hold the Humminbird uh, 360 firm up there then you're gonna have you know you got two more with the bigger hole see that has the smaller hole that goes around the bottom shaft this goes around the upper shaft and it goes here like said and there and then if you have the all tracks now this is the this is the four tracks because it's got that shorter shaft if you have the all tracks or even the universal mount you can still mount it on here because they give you a second one that you can put up here Put that second one up there and then you can hold the shaft really still and, and it won't go anywhere so that's really cool i'll put i'll put the link to this thing down at the bottom but i'm going to go ahead and and, un, and take this off uh, i'm not going to show you every single second of this install but i'm going to take this off and then i'm going to i'm going to just mount it with the two because i've got the shorter shaft and then i'll give you a couple little tips uh from my experience last year with the ultrax mount that might help you with this mount so let's uh Let's see what this thing looks like, and I'll uh, give you the update here in just a second. All right, so as I'm taking this off, I wanted to just, just give you a quick update. Uh, in order to get, get this shaft out of this mount, you have to undo everything, unplug these uh, connectors, and then I've got to pull them through here, uh, pull them through there, uh, once I pull them through there, then I can kind of hold hold this out and mount it in in this in these new mounts. And the thing I like about these new mounts is they they come completely off. They just un, unscrew those Allen uh, screws, and then they will. You can just clamp them on and off. You don't have to thread anything through these holes. I like that a lot. Smart. Somebody's thinking right. Somebody's thinking. All right. So it went on pretty pretty quick and easy. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple things at this point. Uh, before I put this mount right here, I put some electrical tape under there so that it won't slide. Um, I don't care how tight you get these things on that mount I had last year, it would, the, the vibration would slide this whole shaft backwards. Uh, it was the weirdest it was phenomenon I've ever seen. So I put on this one, I put electrical tape under there. Once I mounted this one, I just went ahead and put stoppers electrical tape stoppers you can see that on top and bottom and you know keep it from sliding back i figured that out last year it's pretty pretty cool and then uh, right here it just kind of bumps out the wires a little bit for the live scope not a big deal and i put went ahead and put an extra uh, 
piece of electrical tape there because that's gonna this bottom shaft on the ghost rotates um, and the top shaft is is fixed so this is gonna this has got a little collar in there that's that spins and rotates uh, will allow it to go around um, it, you know well allow, allow this to rotate while this stays in in one position the the actual 360 uh, pretty cool so I've routed this back out I've just got to hook these back up and then I'll show you something uh, in the front real quick before we're done going pretty pretty easy all right so here it is it's done uh it just took i don't know maybe 15 minutes to put on not, not long at all uh one thing i like about this is it it is very fixed uh like once that's there it's there it's this you know you put your little stoppers there it should not slide down any because you don't want to have your uh 360 to where your prop blade you know look at your prop blade make sure it does not hit that 360 because this the head on whatever, whatever trolling motor you have, it's going to rotate. Make sure you have plenty of clearance. So now I've got about an inch and a half to two inches of clearance. I want to make sure that I, the prop blade on my trolling motor does not hit your 360. That will definitely damage that bad boy right there. You don't want to do that. Uh, that's a big tip. Uh, and that's where these, uh, these come in handy uh, to make sure it does not slide down. I even put one right here to make sure that main fixed uh, deal does not slide down as well. I do not want that sliding down to damage my 360. Uh, just a little little tip there, but again, that's the bass boat, bass fishing electronics. Um, if you followed me, you know that there's there's a couple brands out there that I really like. I like the stuff from Russell Marine Products. I like the stuff from Bass Boat Technologies. Van Foster down there does a good job. Now I've got a new friend in this company, the Bass Fishing Electronics, is they make this really cool deal. I haven't seen anything like it. Um, I'll probably go ahead and, and just carry around the, the quick release mount just to have it, uh, just in case, uh, until I make sure that this is the deal. So uh, anyway, I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or anybody has any experience with this mount, uh, drop it down there. I'd like to hear what you got. Appreciate it.